Have you ever wondered what kind of return on your investment you could see when you spend money on a good mineral program? Well, today we're gonna to talk about a few key things to be looking for to be able to determine if you're on the right path or not to see a good return on your investment when it comes to a good mineral program. Hi, my name is Ashley Kettner and I work with Rio Max. I actually work across North America with many different ranchers and my husband and I are the sixth generation to take over his family ranch. So I am working with cattle day in and day out. So with that, I wanted to share some of the things that I've heard and that I've seen. But in this video, I wanted to, to break it down into three things to talk to you guys about today. One, I wanted to talk about some statistics that we have heard specifically from um, a doctor from a university. Two, um, a few key components to be looking for when it comes to picking out a good mineral program and what qualifies as a good mineral program. Three, I also wanted to bring up a rancher who has seen tangible results when it comes to having a good mineral program and the return on investment that he has seen himself. Professor from Utah University, Dr. Hall. He's known as the mineral guru of the West. And in some of the recent things that we've, we visit with him about is the return on investment. And he had mentioned that if you have deficiencies in your herd that you are able to correct with a good mineral program, you will see a five to one ratio for return on that investment. Now, same concept goes with if you have more severe deficiencies and you get those corrected as well, you're gonna see even greater return on your investment. One thing that I wanna add with that is that what we have seen with some of our ranchers on Rio Max, when you add in some of, the, some of the savings that they see when it comes to hay savings, different things like that, you will see an even greater return on your investment than that five to one ratio. There's three things that I want you to pay attention to. The first one is the mineral. Make sure it's 100% protected key trace minerals. No sulfates and oxides. We don't wanna be contradicting what's going on inside that cow. The second thing that you wanna be looking for is a multi-component digestion system. The reason for that is because we wanna make sure we are doing the best that we can to stimulate the good bugs in the rumen because that's gonna help you and your cow extract as much as possible out of the, her existing feed and get more out of it. The last thing is we have to make sure that it's penciling out. It has to be a reasonable cost, an affordable cost, but when I say that, I mean your daily cost to feed when we're penciling that out. Now the reason why we wanna check that too is because not only does it have to be affordable, but that is where you're gonna make sure you're on the right path to getting a good return on your investment and be sustainable for the future. Third topic is I wanted to share a little story about a customer of ours. His name is Mike Stark and he has been feeding Rio Max for a handful of years. And he got to the point where he sat down with his banker one day to really calculate out where things were standing. From the savings, the cost to feed, the um, results that he has seen, the tangible results, and sat down, penciled it out with his banker, and what they found is that he's seeing over $7,000 per ton return on his investment. If you have been thinking and are concerned about the profitability and sustainability of your operation and wanna take a second to really dive in to what's going on, I encourage you to go to our website, check out the calculators, um, the cost per head per day calculator, and see where things would line up for your operation. And another one, I would really encourage you to give us a call because we'd be happy to run through those numbers with you and really see where things could be for the return on your investment for your operation to really set things up for the future. For the next generations, for yourself, whatever your plan is, let's work together and make it happen. You guys have a wonderful day.